Ah yes, watch me take my makeup off. This might not be the most proper way to remove a prosthetic, to be fair. This might be more of a enjoy the video, but don't, maybe don't rip it off your face. You know what I mean? Do as I say, not as I do. Little bit of makeup adhesive remover, obviously to remove the adhesive. Also to be fair, I would normally just take a shower. But for the sake of the internet, to remove all the bobby pins that was keeping my netting on my head. And funny enough, I actually wanted to film another video after I took the lace off, and guess what? There was a bobby pin in my hair, so you guys don't ever get to see that video ever. Rhinestones are a pain to take off, but also at the same time, uh, you know, body paint isn't. Startled. At least when it's just body paint on my face, it's really not that difficult to take off. It's actually more difficult to take off when I'm not getting in the shower as opposed to trying to film it as a video for you. I mean, as soon as water hits it, it runs. Ah yes, back to the rhinestones. I know you see a lot of videos on the internet of taking them off in one piece, but I cannot really put liquid latex on my face that much. So instead I take them off one by one because they're adhered individually. I feel like this is extra spooky. It's not every day you see someone ripping eyelashes off of their cheeks. I'm just using water in my water bottle to wet down all of the body paint just to get it to be one big mush. Little bit of shoulder eyelash discovery. Ew. I'm just wiping that wax bite right off my neck. Just bleh. The rest of it's pretty much alcohol makeup, so I'm just using alcohol to remove it. Easy peasy, baby. Bulb caps are always gooey. Unfortunately, I don't take all of my rhinestones off in one sheet. They're all individually placed. Hundreds of them individually placed. <laughs> Reason being, I can't really use liquid latex on my skin too much, so it's actually easier for me to just put them on using makeup adhesive. Even then, regardless, at least body paint is easy to come off.
Although, uh, makeup adhesive loves to stick to my chest. was hesitant filming this as a makeup removal video because let me tell you, I have so much black body paint on my body. So consider this a shower simulator. the easiest removal. It's just water. And then of course, anything that's left over from eyeshadows and shading and etc. just a little bit of body wash, you know? If you enjoy my makeup removal videos, which take literal months to make since there's so many looks in one video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn the bell on. There's also another YouTube channel that I just started for my YouTube shorts. If you guys wanna subscribe to that, I'll put a link in the description below. And when I say if, I mean, please go subscribe. Thank you.